Okay, welcome to Foundations. So today we're gonna to do a quick review. Remember, I'll say the letter and the letter sound, and then when Owl pops its head out, then you get to say, repeat after me, or you get to say it after me, correct? You guys ready? Okay, we've got T, top, T. Beautiful. B, bat, B. Beautiful. F, fun. Beautiful. M, man. N, nut. U, up. Uh. I, itch, I. Beautiful. Now, yesterday we talked about why these two cards are like a pink color and why these other cards are like a yellow color. Does anybody remember why these are pink and why these are yellow? How about ember? The pink ones are vowels. Give me a thumbs up if you knew that. Awesome, you guys are rocking. Yes, these ones are vowels. Okay, the, these pink ones are vowels. And um, so we have two new cards. We have this one, it's C, cat, C, cat. Beautiful. O, octopus, ah. Beautiful, and again, Here's another pink card. So we have now three vowels. What, which one are our vowels? The pink cards. The pink cards, but tell me what they are. What's this one? You, up, uh. What's this one? I, itch, I. Sprinkle your nose up a little bit. I, itch, I, right? And O, octopus, ah. Uh. Beautiful. Now with vowels, we also, use we also hold out that vowel sound so we have these cards right here or these little cards right here that we go octopus can you do it with me ready here we go start with me ready oh freeze do it with me ready here we go octopus right perfect now let's do the next one Whoops, there we go. Ready, hold that itch. Beautiful. And then this one you've got up. Good, up, good, perfect. So we're gonna sky right right now. So everybody stand up and shake out your bodies. Yes, Simon. Exactly. Simon said he noticed that only the vowels were on those white cards, the long ones. We want to hold the vowel sound out. Okay, those are short vowel sounds, and we want to hold that vowel sound out. That's what they want you to do, okay? So when you're reading, you're not going to necessarily hold that out, but they really want you to understand that vowel, the vowel sounds, because vowel sounds actually have two sounds. Okay, so we're going to talk about the short vowel sounds first, and then as the year goes on, we'll talk about the long vowel sounds. Good, good, good thinking there. All right, so we're gonna shake our bodies out. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention if you shook your body out, okay? No, we're not gonna get crazy and silly. We're just getting our body ready to write in the sky. So I need everybody to stand up like a soldier, okay, facing the board, and your arm and finger pointed straight out, okay? So if your chair's in your way, please push your chair into your table, okay? If you're, if it's already in, that's great. Okay, so Mrs. Brooks is going to write. You're going to write with me, but you're right, sky writing. So you're writing in the sky. Okay, you can put your arms down for a second. Let your arms rest for a second. All right. So let's. We're C and O are plain line um, letters. So we're going to start at the plain line when we write C and O. All right. So let's. Start at the plane line. I'll show you first, and then you guys are going to tell me how to write it. Is everybody ready? Yeah. All right, my soldiers are standing tall. 
I don't see all my tall soldiers. Everybody standing tall. Thank you. Arms are out straight. Straight, straight, straight. And your fingers pointing. All right, so we're going to start at the plane line. We're going to do C first. Start at the plane line. We're going to go back on the plane line, drop down to the grass line. C, cat. Okay, everybody say it with me. Ready? Start at the plane line. Go back on the plane line, drop down to the grass line. C, cat. C, cat. Beautiful. Now we're going to do the O. So let me erase. So we're starting at the plain line again because these two letters are plain line, plain line letters. So we're starting at the plain line. Go back on the plain line, down to the grass line, back up to the plain line. O, octopus, ah. Beautiful. We're doing it again on the plain line. Go back on the plain line a little bit. Go down to the grass line, back up to the plane line. O, octopus, ah. Beautiful. Now I want you to tell me how to write the C. What line am I going to start on? Plane line. line. And what am I going to do? Back up a little bit, right? Down to the grass line. And what is it? C, cat, huh. Beautiful. How do I write an O? Come back. O, octopus, ah, beautiful, nice. Can we do a little review? Because it is kind of our Friday. Even though it's not Friday, it is your, no, it is Friday. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Let's do a little bit of review because it is Friday. Um, I'm going to say, let's see. I'm going to. Nope, it's Friday. I, I was thinking it was Thursday for some reason. So let me think about the letters that we have had. So I can look at our board right here. Let me switch over. We just did octopus, ah, and we did cat, right? Perfect. So let's see. Let's do a B. Let's start at the skyline. Do it with me. Start at the skyline. Drop down to the grass line, back up to the plane line. Circle back down to the grass line. B. Bat, buh. Your turn. Beautiful. Let's do a C now. Start at the plane line. Go back a little bit. Down to the grass line. Back up. C, cat, cuh. Your turn. Beautiful. We're going to do an F. We're going to start at the skyline. We're going to come back on the skyline a little bit. Drop down to the grass line. Cross at the plane line. F. So we have F, fun, your turn. Beautiful. Now we have an M. Actually, you know what? I'm going to erase the board. Let's do an M. We're going to start at the plane line. We're going to drop down to the grass line. Back up to the plane line. Hump, make a hump. Down to the grass line. Back up to the plane line. Make a hump. And back down to the grass line. M, man, mm. Your turn. And I hope that you're standing up writing this in the sky because we are sky writing right now. Yeah. Okay? Yep. Yeah. So when we're done with the letter, you can put your arm down and rest it. And then when we're back writing the next letter, you put your arm back up. Here we go. Ready? We've got an N next. See, I'm following this right here. We have an N next. Just like the M, but it only has one hump. So we start at the, at the plane line. Drop down to the grass line. Back up to the plane line. Make your hump and back down to the grass line. N, nut, mm. Your turn. Good. Now we're going to do an O. An O is like a C. A, this, these are my favorite letters because they can connect. So watch this. I'm on the plane line. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go down to the grass line. Look at what letter is that? C. C. But I'm going to close it up and I'm going to make it into a O. o. We've got O, octopus, ah, go. Oh, ah. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to erase. We got two more. We got the letter T. T is easy. Sky or uh, skyline down to the plane line, down to the grass line. Jump back up to the plane line and cross in the center. That's easy. It is easy. Uh, T. What is my T? T. 
stop. Thank you. See, I've got the old alphabet the pictures remembered or in my mind, and I can't get them out. T top t. Your turn. T top t. Beautiful. And the last one is the U up uh. Right. So here we go. Starting at the plane line, drop down to the grass line, circle back up to the plane line, straight line back down to the grass line. U up uh. Your turn. Yes, and yesterday in my video, you heard me say, I hope you heard me say, because I hope you watched my video. But what, the reason why I go, uh, is because when boxers get punched in the stomach, what do they do? Uh, they make that U sound. So to me, I always like to go, uh, so you hear that U sound. Okay? Um, yes, Christian. Um, in a little bit. Um, yes, Simon. Really? Awesome. So again, we, these are the letters that we've done so far. We've got some skylines and we've got some plain lines. All right. And I think that, oh, no, wait. If we had our foundation student notebook, again, if we had this right here, which they are coming, we would go to the letter uh, C and, and, um, and O and we would color those in. So let's check that out. So C is the one of, it's going to be on, it's the consonant, it's going to be on page two. So it's right there, C, cat, K, right? And then does anybody remember from the video yesterday where our vowels are? Are they on the same page as the consonants? Yes, Simon? No, they're not. So we have a vowel page. So yesterday we would have, um, or the day before, we would have, uh, colored E for Ed and I for itch, and now we've got O for octopus, right? Or did I say that backwards? And you. And you. Oh my goodness. Do we, do we do all those? No, we haven't done E. We did I for itch and O for octopus and U for up. No, because they're going to have their book eventually, and then we'll have everything in there. So yeah. All right. So we'll catch up on that, but that's what we would do after we got done with foundation. So um, or after we get done with our lesson. So that is it for today. The only thing I want to talk about is you guys can sit down. You guys have a foundations kit, okay? And inside your, actually, Jacob, may I borrow yours? Mine has extra stuff in it. So inside your foundations, this is your foundations kit. And inside your foundations kit, you have some things that are very important. And these things are very important because some of them are magnetic. So when you when you have something magnetic and you drop it, if it flies off, it's going to attach to something metal. And then it's going to be tricky to find. So we have to be very careful that we don't drop this magnetic board. Because when you open up your magnetic board, you have lots of magnets on it. Do you see that? Yeah. So if I was to drop this right now, the magnets would fly off, and some of them would be fine, and some of them would be all over the floor, and some of them might even attach to things that are metal. And then I would have a hard time finding them. Once you lose your magnet, you don't have your magnet, and then you can't, it's hard for you to write words, right, with your magnets. So these are going to go home. But they have to come back to school every single day that you come back to school. Because you need these at home for foundations, and you're going to need those, these at school for foundations. Does that make sense? I know. It's a lot of stuff we're taking back and forth. It's so important to bring it back. Yes, Jacob? But it's not going back tomorrow. Because tomorrow Correct. Saturday. Tomorrow Saturday. So I won't, you won't bring it back tomorrow. Okay, but the days you do come back to school, you need to bring this with your whole bag with you, but this will be in your bag, okay? So you have your um, vowels, you have your consonants, and you have some other things that throughout the year we will talk about what they are, and you'll become pros at what they are, and you'll be able to use them to spell words and all of that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So this is very important to take care of and not lose anything, okay? Not lose your magnets not lose this thing at all. The other thing you have in your bag is a whiteboard and it has two sides. It has the letter side and it has the uh, sentence side. 
All right. So this is, we use this for foundations. And then the other two things, again, would be a marker, an expo marker, and a sock, right? What's the sock for? Eraser. Yep, remember you put your marker in one hand, and you can have your sock on the other hand. So you can write, and then you can erase, and then you can write, and then you can erase. Right? Does that make sense? Don't try this. Don't put the sock on with your marker hand because it won't be easy to write. Okay? So it's one on one and one on the other. And if you don't like that, you don't have to put it on your hand. Okay? You can write and then you could just erase. You don't have to have it on your hand if you don't want it on your hand. So everybody will have their own sock in their math kit and in their foundation kit. Okay? So you'll have two socks of mine at your house. But they stay with your kit. So your foundation stuff stays in this bag. Does that make sense? Everybody see it? Okay. So I am going to send this home with you because I believe you will need this for the rest of the time for foundations. And eventually your student notebook will also be in this bag. Does that make sense? Okay. Any questions? Yes. Amber. Oh, come on in. Yes. All right, so that is the end. That is foundations. Okay, so we are all done. Nice job. Have a great day.